Oh, hit it again, hit it again. There we go. Ah, okay, so right mouse button brings him in. Oh, and I, oh, oh, I got him, I got him. Okay, cool. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to build ourselves a longboat. Yes, indeed, we are. Got ourselves some more poison here. I've been using quite a bit of that uh, because I've been trouncing around in the swamp a whole bunch. So let me put a few things away. I was just doing a little bit of hunting right before I started the episode. Um, so we'll put that stuff in there. These can go in here. And I want to put a, a full stack of flint arrows. I'm trying to use my flint arrows up so I can start doing more um, <clears throat> iron arrows. Put that stuff in there, that stuff in there. Okay, so um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what all has happened since I left in the last episode. It's been a lot of time off camera. Um, just looking around for more crypts. So what I did was I jumped in my ship and I sailed all the way down and around the southern part of our island here and uh, so I found the prairie biome but I didn't go into it uh, and I and I found like a little village of goblins it looks like they're goblins anyways these little green ogre goblin looking thingamadoodles uh, here and um, so I just marked that because that's something we'll check out later on and I've pretty much went through this entire swamp and the only two crypts I found were the two that I've already done um, as I was kind of crossing around over here, I found um, a Draugr village. Uh, basically, it's like a village with a bunch of uh, Draugr spawners in it. So I didn't do anything with it. I just marked it because maybe we'll go mess with it later or something. And then, uh, so what I did from there is I, um, I teleported back to the east one portal and uncovered this swamp, which turned out to be a very small swamp. But I did actually find a crypt there, so I did that and then I just left a chest by the portal I, I dug a little bit of a moat around the portal to keep it you know safe from mobs and then I put a chest down and I have about two and a half stacks of iron that I'm gonna have to go pick up in my ship um so yeah that's pretty much where we're at right now uh, we still have to uncover the northern part of the island and the eastern part of the island and I think I would like to do that uh, in a long ship. So that's the first thing, uh, you know, that we're going to do with the iron that I currently have ready to go. And then uh, as a part of the process, we will go get, um, you know, that, that iron that I left by the portal because I can't take it through the portal, of course. Uh, we have a lot of turnip action going on out here. Um, so these seeds are ready to pick. And uh, then I have some actual uh, turnips themselves that are ready to go, too. So I'm probably going to fill up the garden all the way back over to where these carrots are with uh, nothing but turnips. Well, or maybe not quite that far. We'll see. Uh, you know, at some point, I'm going to need to harvest the carrots again. But, you know, I had such a surplus of them for a while there that I, you know, turned all into a, several stacks of carrot soup. Speaking of which, we need some right there. Um, so... Uh, yeah, I'll deal with the, the turnips off, you know, later. I'm not going to do that right now on camera. So, okay, so let's see here. We want to go through our south portal here, back to our log cabin base, our trader base. Oh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to turn into the trader for money, too. I'm starting to think, though, the traders, you know, based upon the stock that the trader has, there's not really a whole lot more we need from them, but I've got all this stuff to sell here. So let's grab all of that, and then I have some extra uh, overflow stuff somewhere. There we go. So yeah, a ton of stuff to sell. So let's go do that right now. I'm, I was thinking too, you know, he's got that Emir flesh. I wonder if I buy that, if that'll, if that will open up the um, uh, the recipe that requires it. Uh, like the sledgehammer. I'm not sh sure. Oh, I saw a bunch of these guys um, in the plains. I, I mean, I just saw them. You know, I was out in my boat. I didn't get out of the boat, but I saw them. So I don't know if, if the ones that are in the plains are actually hostile or not, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, all right. So you're short for a dwarf, are you? Okay. So let's go ahead and sell everything we have to sell. 
All right, so that gives us over 2,000 coin. And I'm going to go buy this. Uh, I know I need it for something, so let's just buy it. Okay, iron sledge. That's what we needed. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we can look at making that. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the fishing rod. And we'll buy... Um, I don't know how long the bait lasts. Is it one piece of bait per fish? Because that's pretty damned expensive if that's the way it works. Oh, no, no. We got 50. Never mind. We got 50. <laughs> okay, we got 50 uh, bait for that. Nice. Okay, cool. So, and we still have... Man, look at all the coin we have. We still have a bunch of coin here. Um, but, I mean, what else are we going to buy? If if this emir flesh is only used for the the uh, the iron sledge... Once we make it, he has nothing else for us to buy un except for, you know, maybe some fishing bait later on. So that kind of, I, I wish that there was more to this guy. I wish he had more stuff for sale so he doesn't become obsolete, you know, when you get into the mid game here. Uh, we could buy the Yule hat, I guess, but why? <laughs> I mean, it's, I'm sure it's fun for decoration, but does it have a functional purpose? Actually, maybe it does. I don't know. Let me know if it does uh, in the comments. Okay. So, let's go get our long ship made, and then depending upon how much iron we have left over, we still have we still have a few more things that we want to make, and we also have a lot of upgrading to do, too. So, we'll, we'll do this ship first, though, and then we'll see where we're at from there. I didn't want to pick all that stuff up. Okay, so, let's see. For the ship, um, for the long ship, we need... 100 nails, 40 fine wood, and 40 ancient bark. I don't have 40 fine wood. We have the ancient bark. So I'm going to have to go back to the meadows biome and farm that up. All right, so that's something I'll do it later on. So to make 100 of these, is it, it must be 10 per iron piece, I'm thinking. Uh... Here, let's put this emir flesh in here for the moment. In fact, I'm going to put the fishing bait in there too, and the pole. We'll we'll do that later. Okay, so I think we need nine pieces of iron to make 90 more nails. Yeah. All right. So that gives us a uh, hundred nails. And uh, whoop, let's uh. Let's put this stuff back in here for now. I guess I'll put that stuff in there too. Okay, so um, let's look at this again. Uh, we got the deer hide and the bark, so we, we just really need the fine wood. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go farm up a bunch of fine wood. Uh, I'll just do that off camera. I'll meet you guys back here when I'm done. All right, guys, we're back. Um, I've got almost two full stacks of fine wood. We're going to bring uh, more of that this back here because we're going to need it for other things, too. Uh, all right, so um, let's see here. We need 40 of these, so we'll put 10 of these back in here. Uh, we need 40 of these. I think we only needed 10 hide. Let's take a look again. Yep, that's everything except for the nails. So let's grab those. And let's go make ourselves a long boat. Um, I've seen this the size of this boat on the multiplayer server, and it's pretty good sized. Um, I wonder if... Here, let's see if we can pull this boat in just a little further. Okay. So that's about as far as that one will go. What I think we're going to do <clears throat> with this, uh, with the longboat, is I think we're going to just park it alongside the end of this dock. Um, I don't know if we... Yeah, see, we don't have any more structural integrity for these end pieces unless we put a pillar or something down. Let's look at that really quick, because I'd like that dock to go out a little bit further than it currently is. So we're going to want some core wood. Man, I got tons of core wood. 
Uh, and we're gonna want a little bit of normal wood too. Put half of this back in here. Okay, so if I go to here. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Just need to get this one. To, there, there we go. All right. Nice. Okay. Um, so now let's see if we can extend this out further. We're going to have to do it this way. Let's go out two more. That should be enough. Plus it, you know, kind of gets us clear of of those boulders too and clear of this uh, of our smaller boat. I was thinking about the, you know, the weather damage on, on the on structures and stuff. And what I think they should do is I think that it should be slower. It shouldn't happen as fast as it does. But the, but I also think it should go down further, like maybe even to 25 percent, but just take longer than it current than it does. I think that would be more realistic. Look at that guy swimming all the way out there and around the corner. Okay, whatever. Uh, all right. Let's make ourselves a longboat, you guys. This is awesome. This thing is pretty good size. <laughs> um, so, boom. Oh, I thought I had it far enough out. Apparently, I didn't. That stupid gray dwarf's coming back now. Uh, can we just push it out? There we go. Okay. And then we'll just repair it. Is this guy going to hit on my boat? Oh, that didn't kill him. I'm surprised. There, now he's dead. You dead. All right, cool. Look at this thing, man. This is awesome. Like I said, I, my friend on the multiplayer server had made one of these, and I, I was kind of checking it out there, but... How much storage space? Oh, wow, look at all that storage space. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, so, looks like this is where we uh, control the boat. That is awesome, man. I love this thing. Okay, before we take it out, let's take a look and see uh, how much iron we have left and what we want to, what's the next thing we want to do uh, with that iron. I'm not going to get that. Uh, board that's way out there. Man, I'm I'm sure I'm enjoying this game. It's just it's so fun to play. <laughs> it really is. It's a blast. I mean, even the grinding in this game is fun. I think. Well, I I think that's true overall. It did did get to be kind of a a bit of a pain in the ass to to do the crypts not necessarily doing the crypts themselves but just trying to find the damn things you know um that's a that's a pain in the butt iron is not easy to get in this game uh, because of that reason uh okay anyway let's put that in there all right so we currently have we still have quite a bit of iron left what if we make the sledgehammer what does it require to do that uh, iron sledge. So that we need a Draugr Elite trophy. I th oh, we need four Emir flesh. Ew. Um, I think we have a Draugr Elite trophy. Uh, I could have sworn I had an Elite trophy. That's not an Elite. Okay, well here, let's go, 
let's go buy three more Emir flesh, and I'm just going to throw this one out because I don't care. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I might have left that over at our landing spot because I didn't have enough room to bring everything back. Let's get rid of this. I've been, you know, using my mace a lot and trying to get the skill up. We're currently at, um... Oh, should probably get out of the menu first. Uh, we are at 25 on clubs, so we've been, you know, fast-tracking that fact. We've surpass blocking uh as well so yeah okay we're almost caught up to pull arms you know from using our at gear however our axe is axe is quite a bit far ahead but you know that's because we use it for lumberjacking too all right so we need to buy three more of these Okay, and we already have the one back at the base, so. Okay, let's go. Well, maybe we will take the the ship out and go get that stuff. Uh, it's just right across the bay there, so it's not very far. But here's what we're going to do then. So the sledgehammer requires... 30 iron okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take a stack of 30 iron and we're going to just put it over here so we don't accidentally use it and we'll also put our emir flesh in there that we need for that okay so what else do we have we have 40 more iron to play with um i want to make an iron helmet um so i mean i use my my light diverger circlet a lot because you know helps me see and it helps you guys see my videos but you know when we're in tough fights we're going to want an actual helmet so i think i think this is what we want to make next okay so we need 20 iron and two deer hide I've got a bunch of deer hide back at the other base. Okay, let's make ourselves an iron helmet. Awesome. And let's put it on. And there we go. Now we're fully decked out in iron armor. That looks awesome. We're going to retire the bronze helmet. And we'll put this up here. Okay. What else do we want to make? So we still have... We have 20 more pieces of iron. Um, what is an iron axe? Okay, so we could make an iron axe. I'm just trying to see what our other, our other options are. The other thing we can do, of course, is we can upgrade. Which we probably will do. <clears throat> However, can't we make the bigger... We can make the bigger chest now. That's something to think about. So these. So that requires two iron per. But I think there's 24 slots in these chests. So they're they're like th three times the space of a of one of these little guys. Because these only have eight, right? Oh, no. These have ten. Okay. I That's... Hmm, I don't know. I mean, considering how hard it is to get this iron... I don't know. I mean, that's, that might be something I will eventually do. Here's a question. Is there any other way to get iron in the game besides sunken crypts? Um, so, yeah, what's the deal with that? Okay, well, anyway, let's, um, let's just look into upgrades. So, we could upgrade... Our scale mail, we could upgrade our greaves, we could upgrade our helmet, and we could upgrade our either our no, we can't do our mace or our bow, but we could do these three things. 
right now. Oh, and the shield. Can we do the shield? Yeah, we can do the shield. Okay, so let's do that. Let's just upgrade our armor and our shield with this last bit of iron. Now remember, I have another stack and a half back at the portal, but we have to go get it on the ship. Uh, we need ten fine wood for that. Okay, nice. Uh, so we are now upgraded to level two on our stuff. It's going to take ten iron to upgrade to level three. Okay. Um, let's put our armor back here. At some point, I want to upgrade my troll hide cloak too, but we need uh, we need a level four crafting station? No, a level 5 crafting station to do that. And I'm not sure what we need to make a level 5 crafting station. Um, I'm sure we'll find out eventually but at this point in time I don't know what that requires. Alright, we're doing good. We are doing good. So, nice weather we're having here. <laughs> we want to take our ship out. Man, that ship is big. Huh. We're going to have to really do some fancy pants maneuvering to get that thing in here. I wonder if... Yeah, those guys are going around the thing, aren't they? I wonder if... We should bring the ship in long ways instead of sideways. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me... When we come back, I'll just see how hard it is to, to get it in sideways. And if it's a real big pain in the butt, then we'll, um, what I might end up doing is removing that boulder there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. It might actually be better to bring the longboat in on this side. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because removing that rock is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. I mean, I can get the top of it okay, but once we get under the water, it's going to be a little trickier. So, all right. Well, dock on this weather, man. I guess this is a good time to find out how well longboats hold up in rough weather, right? So let's hop on in here. And we'll just go one click with the oar and start turning it this way. This boat is so awesome looking. Oh, we need to paint our shield too. I, I keep forgetting to do that. Of course, we're sailing right into the wind. Story of my life, right? Oh, man, we're going to get... No, 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 no. That's not what I want you to do. Okay. Let's see if we can clear the stockade. Ah. <laughs> Just barely. So I take it that this boat doesn't turn quite as... It's probably not as agile as the, as the smaller one. But presumably it's faster, though. Because it's a bigger boat with a bigger sail. Maybe. I don't know. We're just... We're really fighting the wind here. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and lower the sail a little bit and see if we can... Yeah, see, it's going to push us right into the stockade. Oh, got it. Okay, raise the sail. Okay, now let's straighten her out. See if we can just get around it. it, it the problem is these big ass waves are just pushing us right into the stockade. I'm going to have to repair that later. Boy, I don't even know if we can get out of our little harbor here with this weather. It seems, you know, I know I know this is all completely random, but it just seems to me like every time I sail, the wind is not in my favor. Okay, now we're finally starting to move forward here. 
I think. Can you set up a, a crafting table on this boat? That would be handy because then you can just repair it at sea. Okay. All right, we're finally free of that. Uh, so we basically just want to go right over to this little landing spot here. Uh, but we can't raise our or lower our sail because we're right almost right into the wind here. We're just going to have to use an oar. This is so cool, man. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. Fun stuff. Oh. So I'm pretty sure that I left um, a, an elite dragger head in the chests over here. Look at these waves. It's crazy. Is it possible for ships to capsize in this game? All right. I think things are starting to calm down a bit here. Right over here, there's like a little sandbar with my stuff. Uh, I, sh I came in too far. I should have come in that way a little more, but I couldn't see it very well. Okay, well, let's just start turning it this way. Oh, this, this could probably work all right. We'll just kind of drift in to here. A little bit of ore action. I'll have to get used to the, the bigger ship here. Okay. Um, first of all, let's uh, repair this since we can. And then... Um, no, that's just a normal Draugr head. There we go. Draugr Elite Trophy. That's what we need. Okay, let's grab all the rest of this stuff out of here, too, and take it back with us. Uh, we don't care about that. Oh, we've got storage in here. Do we ever have storage in here? Uh, this, I really don't care about. I think I will keep that, though, because that's unusual. All right, so we'll put a few of those things in there. And I want the meat. There we go. All right. I guess we could... I guess we could leave this here. I don't see why not. All right, back home. Let's get her turned out here. I think sometimes you, ha you don't want to turn real sharp. You have to turn a little more gradual. Getting a little bit beached here, too. Okay, here. Let's do this. Let's push this into the boat out. I think that helps a little bit. Okay, I think we're good. Um, what the hell? Are we stuck on something else now? I wish you could see under under the boat. Okay. Oh yeah, this thing scoots along. Definitely moves faster than the than the little guy. That's nice. That's gonna help a lot travel more quickly okay now bringing this back into dock this is going to be interesting let's 
So let's go ahead and slow it down right now. And we're going to want to come around this way. And then start cutting this way. Give it a little bit of ore action. We're going to smash into this stockade now. <laughs> That's okay. It'll actually kind of help pivot us around. Don't do that. Now we'll swing around this way. Let's stop the, the oars and then cut it hard to support or to starboard rather. It's not too bad. I mean, it could have been worse. <laughs> Okay, can we just get it out that way? Just a smidge. Okay. This will work. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either, actually. It's better than I thought I was going to do. Alright, let's kill these guys. So, yeah, the our little setup here doesn't, uh, doesn't prevent these guys from getting in here. It but, you know, these guys aren't a big deal. It's the trolls that I didn't want to get in here. And those guys have not been able to get in here from what I've been able to see. So, that's good. Okay, get over here so I can shoot you. There we go. Let's put our, um, our circlet on. Where is our circlet? Uh, where's our circlet? Did I take it? Did I take it out of my inventory? I don't remember doing that. I must have. Where in the hell did it go? Oh, it's right here. Oh man, I was losing my mind. <laughs> okay. Um, somewhere, yeah, here. Let's put those in there. Uh, we'll put the food. Where are we gonna put the food? We'll put the food in here because I, I, I take all the food back to the, back to the main base because that's where our all of our cooking stuff is set up. Okay. Don't want a normal dragger head. Don't care. Not important. Let's just get rid of it. Away from our crafting table so it will despawn. How the hell did you get in here? I want to get him away from my cart because I'll, I'll damage it myself. Did I just tag my beehive? Nope. That got hit a little bit. Okay, um... Anyway, what were we doing? Oh, we're gonna make the sledgehammer. That's what we're gonna do. So, let's put this in here. The eyeballs go in here. No, not in there. In here. So we got the elite head. We got the 30 iron and the emir flesh in here. And, uh, is that everything we need? No, we're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, 10 uh, ancient bark. Okay.
Okay, let's do it. Awesome, man. Okay, we got ourselves a big old iron sledge. It's going to have some serious AoE. Uh, all right, so I want to put the iron sledge in slot number three. We'll put the bow in four. Uh, we'll put the axe in two. We won't normally carry the bronze pickaxe and the iron pickaxe. I just had both of them because we were still, you know, going after iron. So that way I had a backup. But for now, uh, let's just keep this in here, I guess, with the fishing pole. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and, and rest really quick, and then we'll go take the hammer out and give it a shot and see what it does. You feel rested, comfort by. Yeah, I need to set up some more furniture in this place. Okay, so that pretty much uses up our iron. I guess we could use this last piece if we wanted to to make some arrows. Eight wood and two feathers. I have some arrows in there too. Oh, that's not right kind of wood. I'm going to save these um, arrows, though, for boss fights and stuff. Well, at least for now, because iron's still kind of a pain in the butt to get to. From what I understand, um, uh, bone mass, uh, you don't use arrows on him. They don't work on him. I've never, I haven't seen anybody do the fight. As I was just told that on my multiplayer server. My buddies on the multiplayer server, they, they want to, you know, they, they want to tell me stuff about the game without spoiling it. So <laughs> sometimes it's like kind of funny because they're not quite sure if, how much to tell me because I'm always saying no no spoilers no spoilers okay here let's um let's actually go out to the end of this and uh, repair it oh I must have had to put a crafting station down before whoops that's not what I meant to do that thing is badass All right, well, let's just see how badly damaged it is. Oh, it's, it's just barely touched. We're okay. Yeah, we might as well grab this wood. That's not as near, nowhere near as damaged as I thought it was. We got another dumbass over here. How are these guys getting over here? And why did my bees sting me? Is it because their hive took damage so they got pissed? Um, they must be spawning over here. I, I, there's no other way that they can get over here that I'm aware of. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. Whatevs, man. Okay, let's take uh, our hammer out and bump a couple of bad guys. All right, you're our first victim. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Because, uh, you know, when we had the stag breaker, um, I enjoyed that too, but it got it got kind of obsolete real quick. But this, you know, the nice thing about this is it does a bunch of AOE. But you do, you do have to get, you know, a direct hit to do the really bad massive damage. But the AOE is helpful too when you got a group of dudes. Is there a power attack on this? No, nope, there isn't. That's too bad. These bastards broke all my workstations that I had over here. 
And you know, we'll eventually upgrade this too so it does even more damage. I don't know, is, this, is the two-handed sledge a good weapon to use on bone mass? I know he's he's supposed to be vulnerable to blunt. Uh, or sh is it better to use like your shield and your one-handed mace? This thing really slows you down. That's to be expected though. Whoa, shit. <laughs> Spider-Man up the side of there. All right, guys. Well, um, what we're going to do is... What I'm going to do, rather, is I'm going to hop in my shiny new longboat. And I'm going to... I actually can sail through here. Well, at least I could on the carve on the little boat. Um, but I need to go... I need to go pick up the iron that's over here. Um, and I'd also like to sail around the northern edge of the island and, and finally, for once and for all, get this entire island, the borders of it anyways, mapped out. So, just trying to think how I want to do that. If we go up, we could go up the coast here, go grab the iron there, and then come back around and go around up this way. Yeah, maybe that's what I should do. But I'm going to do all of that off camera um, because it's pretty much just going to be me sailing around. Uh, and I do enjoy that. It's a lot of fun, but it's probably not something that y'all want to watch a whole bunch of, though, either. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys. So for next episode, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next. I mean, Bone Mass is definitely coming up, but... I really would like to get my current gear upgraded as high as I can get it, or at least more than it currently is, um, before we start thinking about that. And that means we need to find more iron, uh, because I do have a stack and a half, but that's probably not going to be enough to upgrade all of this stuff. Um, you know, to get ready for the boss, so... What that means then is I'm going to have to continue doing some more searching for some more swamps. Because the only two swamps that I know of I've completely explored. But maybe, you know, in going around here and up in here we'll find, you know, more of those. So that's the plan. Uh, I'll bring you back at some point with an update on where we are. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.